My name is Susan Hunt Stevens. I'm the founder and CEO of Practically Green, and we use the power of social networks in gamification to motivate people to make healthy green changes in their life. My story begins, unfortunately, in the emergency room with a two-year-old who almost died eating a cashew, and I became one of the moms who had to start reading labels in our food and our environmental products. And we had no idea what was in it. And I started blogging about the changes, got a small following, and realized there's a huge hunger for people wanting to make these changes and to learn, but we didn't have systems or tools to make it easy. I ended up going back to school at night to study sustainable design and discovered the LEED system for green building, which had really motivated and inspired people to begin to build green. And I just kept looking at it and thinking, why isn't there a LEED for people? And that was the original vision for Practically Green. So what we do at Practically Green is help people figure out where they are in their green journey. Are they just getting started? Are they medium green? Or are they really deep green and still have more steps to go? And once we do that, we then put personalized recommendations of what people can do to make healthy green changes in their life and continue to improve. We have over 400 actions in the system for people to look at. But the real secret on this is that we do two things. We put a recognition system around it because sometimes going green is really thankless. And to be able to say, oh, I got a badge and I am now um, super green or have a healthy green kitchen it makes people feel good and they share it. But the other thing is we connect people with their social networks because all of us are making these changes in their life and yet often they're very, very invisible. So if we're friends, we don't know that this person has switched to organic food. This person has changed to green cleaning products and we can learn from each other if we harness the wisdom of that and, okay we can compete and we can compare but hopefully we can collaborate so that the journey is easier and faster and better for people So the Smart Girl strength I'd use, most people would say it's passion. I would actually say it's weaving. And one of the things that I think very few people would do is take a background in consumer marketing, a class in sustainable design, and their experience on Weight Watchers and put it together into a business. But for me, that was how the vision for Practically Green came about, all those things together. And what's been interesting in the business is that we have been weaving because while we knew the consumer problem we were solving, we had no idea how many businesses were interested in having digital, connected, social, sustainability engagement programs. And so now most of our business is powering engagement programs for amazing brands, whether that's the South by Southwest Eco Conference, the Seattle Mariners baseball team, or NBC Universal. So there's a lot of people who say it's all about studying the data and the voice of the customer, and then there's people who say entrepreneurship comes from intuition. I don't think it's black or white. And what you have to have the confidence to do is to understand when your intuition is as farther ahead of anyone else, and it doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it does, but you also have to listen to your customers. And that combination of intuition and listening and data is a really powerful combination for entrepreneurs. What's next is we really are the beginning this week of a huge journey of powering these programs. And right now we are growing, we are scaling, we're adding folks to the team, but we're also pioneering a market. Three years ago, sustainability engagement software wasn't a word. And our dream is that five to 10 years from now, healthy green living is conventional living. And we think these are the tools to make that happen.